deeper, right? They had the best player in the Bundesliga this year, mm-hmm. the best player in the La Liga this year, arguably mm-hmm. the best player in the La Liga this year. They have, I think it's four, four of the nominees for a player of the year for the Premier League. Watkins, Foden, Palmer, and Rice. And still, and still they're, they're, they're kicking rubbish, which I don't, which, which is, I don't understand. Guys, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> well, it's, been, it's, it's good to while. be back. Um, apologies. I don't even know where to start. First of all, I went on holiday. We we're meant to record. Let's actually be honest with you. We had an episode, but for some reason, one of the cameras corrupted. <laughs> episode I was forgot recorded. about that. You know? Everything was done when the cameras recorded. That's, was that when I was gone? No, it was me and Sam. It was when you were going to yeah. Portugal. Yeah, and then yeah, I went yeah. to Portugal the week after. And look, yeah, it's just been long. But guys, we're back. <laughs> and welcome to the second best podcast in the world. Come on. I'm here with the man himself. The General Vasia, of course, Eddie. The Eddie. D E S without the S. <laughs> ah, that one was my man. You're here with Demi, the man, the myth, the legend. Anyways, man, guys. The myth, the le- you're not serious at all. Why? Man, the myth, the legend, Abby. Okay, we'll continue. What's that meant to me? Ah, okay. Good. I I'm like the way you encourage yourself. I'm gonna throw something at you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back once again and Let's kick things off where they should be kicked off. The UEFA Euros. Oh, God, what is going on with England? Oh, uh, I, I, can't, I don't think I can even describe like how shit they are. I, pr- I promise you, like dead ass, man. I don't even care. Comments do what you want with it. If you're English, I don't care, to be honest. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, then you need to. You need I don't to re- think I did that, man. They need seen. to rethink what they like about football, like to be honest, if anyone enjoys that. they No, because deeper, right? They had the best player in the Bundesliga this year. Mm-hmm. The best player in the La Liga this year. Arguably mm-hmm. the best player in the La Liga this year. They have, what well, I think it's four. Four of the nominees for a player of the year for the Premier League. Watkins, Foden, Palmer, and Rice. And still, and still they're, they're, they're kicking rubbish. Which I don't, which, which is, I don't understand. Because first of all, there's no balance to what they're playing like. There's no, Bellingham in 10 is not, clearly not working. I'll be sorry. It's clear. It's clearly not working. They can't force it. Clearly not. Declan Rice as well. See you, Arsenal fans. Yeah. <laughs> Best CDM in the world by four. You know, I saw him get a pass. So it was already a pick for the stones, right? And instead of him to turn, <laughs> he passed him his left foot back, and he went out for a corner for the other team. <laughs> That's the best CDM in the world. Hundred million. It's not embarrassing though. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that not embarrassing? Look, I, 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 I still that's a whole different case. I don't even want to get onto them. Honestly, right but James McLean said it so perfectly. It's just like Declan Rice is so afraid because he said that when you see the other teams like Spain with Rodri, Germany with Cruz, and like the, just the other teams, even to your men, you can say, you can say they can receive the ball from the back line and turn and play, but this guy can't, and he's a hundred million. You know what I mean? But was that only one time that happened, or was? Oh, you no, know, that, that match against Denmark, he was shocking. I watched the whole match. He you was see, shocking. You see, you see the problem with England, right? It's like you said. Like, let's actually look at England's team that's usually starting. It mm. was Pickford in goal. On the right, who do you Walker. Usually, Walker. In the center mid, it was Gay and Stones. Stones yeah. Left back was Trippier. Mm. In the middle, he was playing Trent. Rice. Rice. Bellingham. Bellingham. What was he playing? 4 3 3? It was four two three one. So Benham was ten. So we played four two three. Okay, so we played Benham ten. Mm. Saka on the right, right yeah, and Foden on the left, left and Kane up front. <laughs> you see where the problem with that team first started was when he was playing Trent centre mid. Mm. I don't get Salke. Salke is just not a real person. Salke is a he's, he clearly is Salke is a creature from Uranus. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me explain something to you. You see, uh, regardless of what anybody wants to say to me, mm. how Cole Palmer is not playing in that England team right now. It makes no logical sense to me. And see what what they say about it, right? No, there's no, I don't care what they say. You know, I'm just saying. I don't, like, I've gone to the point. No, I don't care. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm backing your argument. Okay. They say that, oh, he hasn't done it in England top yet. How is he going to do it in England top if you don't give him the chance to do it in England top? What? You, <coughs> can you, can you do it? I'm sorry if I've done England top. Didn't City say the same thing about him? Mm. Oh, remember City was saying he's not good. Basically, Pep was like, oh, it's you Definitely, basically saying like he's good, but he's not good enough. Yeah, and look at him now. Twenty-one block goal, clack goals, goals in the Premier League season. on his first season. The guy, George, for the thing is, yeah, when Cole Palmer was playing in the Prem, 
people were more afraid of when Copama was playing than like so let me explain this properly. When Copama was playing, you were more afraid of Chelsea just because Copama was there. Of course. If Copama was not there, you kind of be like, ah, yeah, they're gonna. Lose when Copama wasn't there, Copama one man alone. Remember they even calling. Remember they were saying saying Co- Chelsea are one man team because yeah. when Copama is there, yeah, of the course, truth. it's true. Like the guy was unbelievable. Mm. Now how Southgate is not playing Palmer right now makes no sense. How he's not playing Eze makes no sense. How he's That's not playing. True. Why would you take four Crystal Palace's players and only play one of them? Can you man, Warren should be starting. That Warren guy should, is you, unreal. Okay, so let's 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 let's. let's Big facts here. If Rice is not playing good and Rice having a bad game, Wharton has proved himself this season. Mm. Man, hey. It's not like they're proving themselves in like the Serie B or something or Bo- some random league Bolden, or the League One. Foden hasn't been playing the best. As is Robin. there, show him on. The thing, the, but the thing is, right, he's seen this, he's seen the same team, right, for three games. He changed, made one change, put Gallagher beside Rice. No, no disrespect, man. Gallagher is even, he's in himself. He's not. Nah, see, he did, but he, Gallagher should not be starting. Because you're putting two players that are very alike beside each other. You mm. know what I mean? Because I don't want... Because they say when they say that, oh, we should have picked Rashford, right? Because we need someone to get him behind. I think that's a load of bollocks as well. Because when... Yeah, the, hear me out, right? Because I said this to Sam as well. I was just like, oh, you can't say that, right? When Germany have no wingers or a cam that get him behind. They, have, they don't have anyone. Because if you look at Germany, they have Wirtz, they have Musiala and Gundo, right? Listen to the one of the names he said there. Words. M- Musiala himself. Musiala. See, does he get behind though? No, does because he... the guy is like Messi's beta version of Messi. Ex- exactly. He comes in and he dribbles as well. So you have you have Foden and Saka like to come and get the ball and stay wide. But no, Foden likes to come in, but Saka likes to stay wide, right? They're not getting it behind. So what is their excuse though? You know what I mean? You know, they don't have they can't have an excuse because no, I, I I don't disagree with you what you're saying, but the Southgate thing is really just pissing me off because, mm. you know, the funny thing, these Euros right now, they're actually being centered around England yeah. a lot because mm. of what Southgate is doing. Mm. I don't understand English FA. There is a man there who, even if you're not the biggest footballer fan in the world, you can see this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Doesn't know he doesn't doing. know when to adapt. He doesn't know mm. when to change. Mm. Like, how can someone still be there? How Look, how can you see a team playing that bad and you're not making any changes. Mm. The Euros is what? How many games? You play three you games. You play three games in a group and then whatever you whatever. do after that. How can you not see after the first one or two games, okay, I need to actually do a big change here. Eze, Even just after that first game alone. Eze and one. Palmer, mm. Wharton, all these boys. Gordon as well. Don't forget Anthony, Anthony Gordon. Gordon is, Anthony Gordon as well. Oh. Even I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say because even Kane, I'm so real. He was rubbish as well. I was, and I'm, t- <laughs> I'm telling you especially because that's your guy, right? That's your that's your number one striker, right? He is number one striker. But that guy, right? He's the best striker than him right now in the world. Who's the best? That's not what I'm talking about right but now. I'm asking you a question. That's I I didn't. I'm not arguing with you there. I'm, I'm saying that's you that's question. your guy. I just, I just want to make sure who's better than Kane right now. I'm, I I did not say anyone. Nobody. Thank you. Uh-huh. But I'm saying right. That he is the best in this season, especially. Mm-hmm. He's the best striker in the world. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't by agree. by by but country mile. Why is he the best striker in the world? Because he had a manager there who knew if a player was playing shit, like there was a chance, right, that Kane was free. Mm. Phil Foden could have passed it. Yeah, but he shot. Yeah, exactly. But that's the shit. We, so this is the thing we have to understand when it comes to certain positions in the pitch, strikers. When, especially with strikers, if you're not getting the service, what do you expect? And then Kane has to come back now to get the ball to try to make things happen. So why is Kane getting the blame when other people aren't providing the service? And this is why I say it all goes back to Gareth Southgate. We can say Rice is playing shit. Mm. We can say, we can say, Saka's playing shit. We can say Foden's playing shit. Mm. But at the end of the day, when you're a manager and you're not making decisions and you're just saying, you know what? Got, yeah, I'm, too, I'm very comfortable with this team and I like these p- players. And this is what I want, and I don't care what anybody says. There's, you're not gonna win anything. You have Anthony Gordon, you have Eze, you have Wharton, and you have um, Cole Palmer. Eze and Cole Palmer have been two of the best players this season. Wharton has been one of the best. One players, of the best players. One, one of, of the, the best, best players. Season, yeah. Anthony Gordon has been pretty, pretty decent this season. Uh, he's been very good. He's, he's been very. Good. Good. I can't say he's been one of the best, but he's mm, been he's really, been really very, good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> If rice, yes, okay, everybody can. The rice train, you know the way I feel about. It, I don't care. I'm like, I mm. rice is a great player. You could even add time. menu to that as well. Why Kobe? Oh my God! The main, <laughs> you know what it is, yeah. Mm. I'm not. I'm. 
a big fan of Manu. I don't talk about it the way United fans do. Mm. But how he is not... How is he... Has he been staring? He didn't start a game. He came on. He came on the day... Like, Cole Palmer and him have only played one game. Can you imagine? You have some of the players who have been playing the best football this season. And you had your audacity to say we're missing Calvin Phillips. That God bless. I forgot about that man. I was, you know what? I they should have sacked him was, after he said that. Gary, Sal- should... Gary Southgate is a defect to football. God knows. He's actually a defect to football. I don't know. I, because I've I don't never... know what he sees. No, I'm so sorry. Do you know what when I say I want people to realize Gary Southgate is a defect to football and I explain to you why. When you are saying with your whole chest that you're missing Calvin Phillips, not saying Calvin Phillips isn't a good player, like when he was at Leeds. Mm. If you talk about Leeds Calvin Phillips, okay, that makes it that's a whole different story. Mm. We're talking about Calvin Phillips that couldn't get a game at Man City, which we understood because mm-hmm. Rodri is there. Yeah. Couldn't when every time he came out for West Ham was giving away penalties. He's giving away penalties. He has a red card as well. Um when when he was at City, Pep even had to say he's a bit overweight. Mm. And this is the player you're crying when you have Declan Rice, Kobe War- Menu, Warren. Warren. Three of the best midfielders in the league. English midfielders in the league this season. Mm-hmm. And it's Calvin Phillips you're crying for. And he's still pulling Trent at CDM. Though, Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That is when I say Gareth Southgate is a defect to football. Because now, because when you deep it, right? England, England could, England, if they had someone with sense, could win the whole you know, thing. You know, there's no, there's no, England, England should be winning. They yeah. should be winning. Realistically, Realistically though, speaking, they should be winning. They have some of the best players in the world on that no, team. Let, there. Let, let's actually deep this, right? Let's mm-hmm. actually look at the players. Kai Walker, mm-hmm. Premier League, Premier League champion. Premier League champion. Uh, John Stones, Stones Premier, Premier League champion. champion. Even Mike Gahey has been their best Mike player. Mike has been, been, been one of the best. Player. CB, been one of the best fans in the league this season. Mm. Trent Trippier plays for Newcastle. Yeah. Playing decent. Playing good. Declan Rice. Declan Rice. Runners up in the Premier League and was one of the best. C, one of the best. One of CB, the best. C, 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 and he got voted for player of the year. year. So he must okay. have been good at least. Um, who was there? Wharton. Wharton has been one of the best newcomers to the Premier League, mm-hmm. if not the best. Menu. Menu has been one of the best youths in the league this season. Mm-hmm. What's the, they have they're probably one of the best right backs in the world as well, Trent. But they're playing him CDM. They have probably one of the best, or people can argue if he's not the best, Kyle Walker. Yeah. Now, they have a Champions League winning midfielder <laughs> in the name of Jude, Jude Bellingho. Bellingho. Bellingho, you know the way that's coming it. Kai, they have so many that scored how many goals this season? Kai Kane, 41? 40 something goals. He broke the Bundesliga record in his first season. First 40 something goals. Cole Palmer, 21, 21 goals, goals, 10 goals. assists. And you I have the audacity, Gareth Southgate, to say, have all those players and it's Calvin Phillips you're worrying about. Can you imagine? When what? I say you are a defect to football, people really what? need to start really realizing you're a defect to football. You're a defect to English football. But look, if that's how you think, but I think you need a break from manager, managing, managing in football. He needs people. a break from football. Just you, know, you know that thing when 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 I heard he said that thing, I was like, no, he didn't. It's and I had to see myself. Can you imagine? You know, do you know do you know how different that game was when Menu when when Menu was on, when Gordon was on, and when Palmer was on? The difference, and then. Then I saw Bellingham come over and try and ruin, ruin what Menu and Palmer were cooking. I was like, what are you doing here, guy? You know what I mean? Because nope. he wants to be the guy for England. He wants to be. Yeah. And that's the, that's the ego. That's the attitude that he has. He wants to be. I'm, I'm saying I'm him. Like, he wants to be him. Okay, he scored in that first game. It was a decent header, right? Other than that, I'll be so real. They glazed him so much after that fucking first game. They glazed him. That, them English pundits, they, oh my God. They could they were they were, they were literally soaking it. they were soaking on him. They were literally doing that. All of that for him to put in a disgraceful performance, right? Against mm. the next against Denmark and a terrible performance against I don't know who they were playing. I don't want to get it mixed up with Slovenia. Is it Slovenia or Slovakia? I don't know what they're playing. They're playing Denmark, Slovenia, and um oh, was it? sorry, it was Oh, it was um Malik Denmark, team. Denmark, Serbia. Denmark, Serbia and Slovenia. Yeah. yeah. So like so against Serbia. Serbia are a decent team, right? But they still they played okay, but they weren't playing the way they should be playing. Like, like, like up there, they they should be up here, but they were playing middle, mm-hmm. right? I'm just saying that Bernard wants to be that guy. His ego, he, he can't. He can't but I'm telling you right now, he wants to be that guy. He's gonna ruin them. I be I be so real, cause he's used to being that guy with Vinicius Junior 
um, crews behind him. You know, everything is flowing, right? But he, ca- <laughs> he has, instead of finishing... I, Chelsea, I, just, I just don't get how England are playing this bad. I just I don't, don't get it. It doesn't make sense With to me. With all the things our team has achieved as selectively as individuals, mm. Mm. You, that <laughs> you when you all come together, you can't play as a team. Abby. There's a big problem there. And someone did say before, like, you, it's going to be hard for a team that play against each other week in, week out to actually just... Just, yeah, yeah. Just just the, right way, the other leagues, like, there's always, there's, like, different, you know. Obviously, with Spain and in Spain, you have Real Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah, so they, people, that's a big rivalry. Those people, they understand when they come to national team, they don't care about anything that goes on. They, they like, only care about the games that are ahead of them there. And you know what someone else said as well? Mm. When you, England was saying they lack creativity, right? And they dropped two of their, or two of their best, best great players, Madison and Jack Grealish. Because let's think of it. Madison, yeah, fair enough, you know, his first half, the first half of the season in the he Prem, was, was Madison good. was the best 10. 10 in the league, mm. 100%. Where, mm. like that, but obviously with that injury and yeah, taking and forever, that happened and coming back, you know, I feel That's like... That's fantastic, yeah. Fantastic, but Madison, and you drop Grealish. Now, Grealish hasn't always been playing for City, but we all know that... What, what he can do. What he can do when he's not under Pep. Because mm. when you're pepified, it's a different it's story. It's a different story. You <laughs> can't play the same you, you, you Look at Doku. Doku is pepified and he's not the Doku that we know before. Exactly. Gracious is pepified. Like, so when you're pepified, you have to change the style <laughs> of your play. So, I, that's one. That's where I think he made his first mistake. Yeah. Um, I think the problem with Southgate is he has his favorites. Yeah. And it's becoming more and more evident every single time. But this time around, he didn't pick Maguire. Which I was surprised. Yeah, about. But was Maguire injured? But he, but Shaw's injured. Is Shaw there? Shaw's there, but he it, it's got, Shaw's not gonna be able to play until he might not even be fit on Sunday. Like, wait, did Shaw get injured during England Cup or was he injured before? <laughs> he was injured since February, man. Shaw's picked Shaw. Yeah, he picked Shaw. Shaw's in the camp, like. So then I was just like, well, well Shaw, why'd you drop Maguire then? Because Maguire has been one of your favorites, and Maguire didn't have a, a disgraceful season, right? And you've picked him on a worse season as well. So why are you not picking... You've picked him on... So you're telling me Luke Shaw is on that England team right Luke now. Luke Shaw is in that camp, man. And then I, I was saying this to the boys. I was like, hmm. So if, you, if you're if you picking Luke Shaw, then why don't you pick Rhys James? Because Rhys James has been back is from... Is Ben there? Chihuahua's not there, no. So then, right? So so he didn't pick any... He had picked one left-footed left-back that is injured, right? <laughs> By the way, you hear what I'm saying? He has picked one left-footed left-back to come to the England team. Right, defects of football. Remember what you I see said. that, and then you know Kai Walker, right? He's not the best attacking right back. Let's be real. Yeah, because he's pepper fight. He's pepper fight. <laughs> but then, but then some of the crosses he was putting in, if you put Trent or a Rich James there, their goals, because them crosses are going to be, they're going to be sweet. Yeah. So now putting Kai Walker there, they should just go back to the five back and just just play haram football. Honestly, I'd be sorry, <laughs> England. <laughs> I'd be sorry. <laughs> they should just do this English. Um, everyone behind the ball, I just counter attack because honestly, that's the only thing that's gonna work for them. Mm. But um, other than that, like the Euros has been very interesting because there was an offside issue. I don't know if you've seen. Don't freeze. Was it don't freeze against against France? Yeah, there was an offside mm. thing that like um. Was it the four? I don't know what it was, but the offside, that offside was very funny. Mm. Because I always think offside is, it's the part that the attacking player can score with. Yeah. I didn't think it has anything to do with your hands. No, I didn't either. And they looked like when Dumfries or somebody scored that goal, it was offside by his hand. I'm like, mm. wait a minute. Offside is meant to be doing by the attacking part of your body. And you cannot score. And what is anything below... Uh, below uh, the the like bicep kind of thing. The bicep, so yeah. Anything from here above. So I think that kind of confused me. That was yeah, no, t- I don't, I don't. That, I don't the Euro, the, the referee hasn't been terrible. Like it's been like okay. the decisions in the Euros haven't been that bad, to be honest. What? No, you know my problem is why is it that English referees know how to referee when they're in the Euros, but when they're in the Premier League, they don't. They don't, remember, they don't remember. I suppose the VR is not the same as well. But still, like, it doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, you, you can ref that well there. Why does it take you that long? You know what it is about the rest? We talked about this, and I want to slightly talk about referees for a minute. Mm. Referees act like... I don't mean this in a rude way. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, what I want to say. I don't want to say it rudely. But they act like 
which are special. And not saying they're not, not saying they're not important to the game, but at the end of the day, like we're not watching for them. We're not watching you. You're just there to enforce the rules of the game. Mm. Realistically speaking, if no one done anything and if everybody played to the way of the rules, to be honest, there's no need for you. Loki. You know? And I look at it and I think like I remember someone was saying that was it I don't know if it was a footballer or something. They were saying one day they remember seeing a referee rocking up in a pair of Gucci slides. And, and I was saying to myself, like I was just kind of looking at the center, I'm like, why are you rocking up in a pair of Gucci slides to ref a game? Mm. I don't know if I'm wrong in the way of looking at that, but it's kind of like yeah, but like, and with all the mistakes that the premiers make, how can you get that much money? <laughs> yeah, I think there needs to, like I think the thing about referees is that like I feel like because VAR has fucked a lot of things up for them, especially because when you actually look at it on the like referees make mistakes back in the day, miss everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, of course. But the problem now is that. There's so much now accountability on VAR and there's so much pressure on them because now it's like, okay, you've made a mistake. We can all see you make a mistake. How are you going to rectify that mistake? It's like the person upstairs is trying to save their friend downstairs from making a bad decision. Mm. I don't know if you get what I mean. Yeah, because yeah. there's someone that said, came out and said it though. It's like, remember what's that body, bass, body guy's <laughs> name? That, um, oh my god, the guy that just retired, didn't yeah, it? he just retired. Isn't it? Um, I thought, I'm, oh my god, you know, what I'm talking about, yeah, this, I do. Him, he came out and said that, oh, yeah, there was a decision that he basically, yeah, Chelsea and Spurs, yeah, Kukurata. he basically said that, um, it wasn't a foul just to make sure his friend was just to make sure he just happened to find out. Like, it's mm. like, let's hypothetically say that that could have went both ways. Let's say, for example, he gave that free kick gave that foul and Chelsea won that game. That, mm. that that could be different between them finishing in Europa League and Champions League. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like, uh, for example, even the big one was the Spurs and Liverpool game. Imagine Spurs actually played well and, Ch- and it was battle between fourth and fifth for um, Spurs and Liverpool. Yeah. And you're making Sp- decisions uh, off that. Like, no. Spurs, Spurs have now finished fourth and Liverpool have finished fifth by two points. Mm. But Liverpool have better goal difference. That game is going to be like, if it wasn't for that game, like, you know, mm. I believe that at the end of the day, if you make a bad decision and you know you did, throw the game up and say, look, I didn't, that wasn't the right decision. I don't care what you say. I'm going to stick with what I thought was right and what should have been right. Mm. And, you know, I think referees need to remember, like, you're just there to ref the game and go home. Yeah, right? and there's just so you much. Don't want, you so don't, don't want to be a headline in the newspaper because they don't want, they're not mentally prepared for that. Yeah, exactly. Because at the end of the day, all these footballers that get paid millions, they have multiple therapists there. They have multiple people helping them there. You don't have that. Mm. You don't have that luxury. So don't go and put you, don't go and take paracetamol for someone else's headache. It's just as simple as that. It's because like, even like, see, the, the, there's so many referees that make mistakes. And then it will happen a week after, right? And they think they don't they don't align basically. That's the problem. It's the inconsistency. They, they don't know the like, The mistakes you're making. It's and, like it's so ridiculous though. You that's know what, what I mean? pisses me off. You're you you can not do it in the Premier League, but when you're going to the Euros, you're refing some of the best games. Yeah, and, and then and then it's like they're aligned there. Yeah, it's like everything you, is the same. So I'm just like, what what's going on what's now? The, I'm like, what's the difference? Like you get paid a lot of money. Mm. It's not like you're getting paid chicken change to be a referee. Not, exactly. Like just do it like no one's gonna at the end of the day like if you know you don't be doing stuff because i don't know what it is with them like even like even in the euros right they changed the rule that uh, the only person that's allowed to talk to the ca- um referee is the captain so no one else can say anything to the ref you don't talk don't talk to him if you come over but that's to, but that's the rule in the premier league as well yeah but they've really enforced in the euros so if you even go and talk to the referee about a decision they made and i feel that's away, the way it should be that's where it should so that day, means see, they shouldn't have any like they shouldn't be angry about it as well if they come and talk to them because they can send them off. That's why I, I'm telling you, if I was a ref, right? Personally speaking, if I was a ref and you know yourself, you as a player, and I'm meant to come and talk to me mm. and you've been warned that you're going to get put, and you come, mm. I'm going to book you straight away. I'm going to book and you. And you can cry about it. But I don't you, care. You've been told, don't come near me. And then I'm going to be fair. I'm, you see, I don't think they understand that they need to be fair. They need to be fair in the Premier League because I think some of the decisions are actually like, they are shocking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you see what? See, who was it? Wolves. 
Wolves have been screwed over a lot this year, and they've been and they were the ones that called out for VR to be removed because yeah. they had some of the worst. Remember, I said this before. Too. Too. Remember, I said this like AIDS going apart. If Wolves got relegated, do you think they'd have the right to sue the Premier League? They would, yeah. Of all the shitty decisions. Yeah. What, what was was it against everything that them? My United. It was my night. Remember, that's the one that Onana elbowed your man in the head. Bro, he bro that. Free. He completely and missed a week, it. A week later, and then a while later, they gave the same thing. Mm. I, I that Premier League makes no sense to me, man. To be honest, I man. don't understand you people. You need to open your standards, bro. Mm. Can't be doing it good in one place and doing it in another. Bad, France finished second. France finished second. So, I think they only played three games in the Euro group stages. Yeah, they won. Germany, I... Switzerland first. Spain and Italy, their group. England, Denmark. Austria and France. Hmm. Yeah, Ralph Ragnick as well. Romania and Belgium. Portugal and Turkey. Who do you think will win the Euros? Germany. I said at the start. I said, I remember, remember I said on the pod one day, yeah. I said, I think Germany will win. I don't know, man. I genuinely think Portugal might do it. Portugal? You know they've yeah. been ass. They've been terrible. Like, I think, because you know, if Portugal win their match, right? Yeah, and Portugal, France how would they been ass when they won two and lost one? They they haven't played well. Like it's like England. They have, they've won one and they have played. so I'm saying right, Portugal and if and Portugal and France right. If you see it now, if they both win their matches, it's France against Portugal. Yeah, well, Spain have won all their matches. Yeah, but that's Spain. Come on, you know what I mean. And their group isn't easy as well. Yeah, Italy, of course. Croatia, Albania. Yeah, come on, like you know, it's like Spain have been on it as well, which is which I really want to see. I think they're on the they're on the same side though. Mm. I really wanted to see a Spain and Germany final. I really wanted to see it, just on the basis of. To just be two teams, young, young, young people on the sides, like come on, it'd be worth it. Musiala versus Nico and Yamal. Oh, it'd just be wonderful to watch. You know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be maybe. wonderful because even Yamal and Nico. Speaking about that, remember that thing I sent you? Isn't it like people said? Someone said that like Deli Ali. Mm, okay. Know. Ah, okay. I'm going to get in trouble for what I was to say. You're saying that, but Deli Ali is better. Deli Ali. Wait, 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 let me. I'm gonna be very careful what I say. Okay. So what did they say? They said Jack Wilshere is basically Phil Foden. Foden yeah. Dele Alli is basically Bellingham, mm. and Yamal is. I don't want to talk about Fatty. Fatty. <laughs> so now the other one, it was a Bellingham and Dele Alli. One I was thinking about, right? And I was thinking wait, 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 before everybody said I'm mad. Dele Alli. You're looking at me. I know, I, you know, yeah, this is that moment that I'm about to, man. My question is to you, Deli Ali at that time, remember that Deli Ali that everybody knew that where everybody wants to buy 400 million versus Bellingham right now in the Euros. Who would you have rather? If we're just going off the Euros, no, if you if, if you have Deli Ali at his prime. Mm-hmm. Whether people want to so Jude Bellingham is what 20, 20. 20. So twenty year old Deli Ali versus twenty year old Jude Bellingham. Who are you having? Jude. I'm having Deli Ali. That's so crazy. <laughs> that's so that's so crazy. Twenty like bro, you need to remember the Deli Ali we're talking about. That's, that's so crazy. Man. You, I, I promise you that's but so this crazy. is the same Jude that you're saying is doing rubbish. Yeah, Euros. but yeah, but still do you see the season you've had bro? I'm taking. I'm taking. <laughs> That's so crazy. So you're telling me that twenty year old Deli Ali wouldn't be doing a better job than Jude at Real Madrid? He wouldn't do a better job. He probably do the. He probably on the same length. But I would just take Benham. That's a matter of opinion. I'm saying twenty year old Deli Ali. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about Deli Ali now. I'm talking about that Deli Ali that everybody wanted. I'm taking that Deli because no, I don't see the difference between Jude and Deli Ali back at twenty year. <laughs> Tell me what the difference is. Yes, look, look. One has trophies galore. I understand. Okay. But we're talking about technical ability between both of them. There's no. What's the difference between the both of them at twenty? There's no difference. I'm so then, saying... why are you saying you want to take another over the Dende? But the why same. are you saying that you want to take Deli Ali over? I'm saying Benham. I want to take Deli Ali over Jude because I knew. I look. I'm looking at everything right now. I know if Deli Ali was in Jude's position at the twenty or Deli Ali, he'd be doing a better job. I disagree. No, I don't disagree. I disagree. Yeah. Deli, I don't. If you, if you actually, <laughs> man, maybe you know, because the thing is, yeah, I'm a Spurs fan. Yeah, of I course. Watch, like... I watch, I watch Spurs religiously. Mm. The things I saw Deli Ali do to some football players was <laughs> not human. Yeah, no, like of course I do. I, I I've always rated Deli Ali. Of yeah, but like I don't like. I hear what like you know, people can always fight me, but like at the end of the day, if you're telling Deli Ali at that time, 
was no different to Jude at this when at that time, when he was twenty. What's different? To be honest, I'm not saying there's a difference. I'm just saying I'd rather Jude. I think I don't. So think, your no. preferable preference preferences, you just rather. No, Jude. because I think you're saying that Deli Ali would do a better job than Jude right now. I'm say I disagree, but I still think they're on the same level. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Well, in the Euros, I still feel Deli Ali would do a better job if it was that twenty year old Deli Ali right now. With Kane, yeah. <laughs> We came, just, maybe. See the thing about Deli Ali and Jude is, yeah, but see the thing about Deli Ali, Deli Ali never thought he was him. Mm. Deli Ali was just there enjoying playing football. Mm. And that's the difference. Jude, Jude is getting into the politics of football a bit too much lately. You know, he's like, like you said, he wants to be I'm him. He wants to be that guy. Deli Ali never wanted to really be that guy. He, he was just to say for, Yeah, I, I do hear it. I do hear it. I, 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 get, I get what you're saying. Uh, but that's what I'm trying to get to you. Like, if you, t- Deli Ali, let's put all, let's put all the variables here. Five million, five million pounds versus whatever Jude cost. A hundred. A hundred mil. This guy was balling. I'm telling you, if Deli Ali, ah, oh, that Deli Ali story pains me off. Because <laughs> I know, but people can fight me. I know deep down, if he got the help he really needed, I know the Deli, I think, oh, if Deli Ali continued the way he was doing at Spurs, you, you are telling me, you are telling me that, that that guy wouldn't be the guy right now. I wear Spurs. Yes, he would. If Deli Ali was getting, continuing what he was doing when he was under Poch and getting better and better. You're telling so if Poch didn't leave? What? So if Poch didn't leave? If Poch didn't leave, Deli Ali would have been world class. Would be world class? Yeah. And if I hear an Arsenal fan try to come in these comments and tell me bullshit, when you people are trying to claim there's certain men that are world class, <laughs> don't let me fight you people don't let me fight you people no but like i feel like you have something to say about this daily Ali thing i said that he'd be work class now he would be work class now if he was still playing the way if he if he wasn't going through anything he was going through it's hard to say you know it is because in this day and age like what we call him work class you know People are just throwing world class like it's a joke. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not throwing it with people. I'm telling you, he would have been genuine. He would have. He would have been gone from Spurs. If he was gone from Spurs, I'd say so. I mean, he would have been gone from Spurs if Deli Ali kept it up. And if he that. kept it up for another, like, let's say, three years, and then a big offer <laughs> came in for him, he like, would have been gone. Gone. If he was gone, right? And he dead, then he. If, if, if he wasn't messing up the way he would have been messing up, he would have been at Madrid. That's my own. That's that's why I look at it. That's fair. That's why I look. I think. I think Deli Ali. What's so unfortunate about obviously you watch the overlap, you watch the story, is that like I don't really want to get into that aspect of things. I don't want to be saying, I don't want to be, obviously I don't want to touch you about it. But it's like you really need the right people around you when you're in that high level of life. Mm. Do you get me? <clears throat> you know, I mean, the thing about all these footballers that are obviously going through all this stuff is like when you look at the people they're around, are they? Helping them. Are they helping them, you know? Because, mm. you know, there's something that I always, like, look at and I just look at them, like, when I see, like, when I see some of the pictures, I'm like, if you really had real friends, they'd be telling you, look, you don't need to be there. Go home, like, you know, yeah. you have training in the morning. Or, training, yeah, I hear it. You don't have to be doing all this stuff. I think even, that's why you have to, sometimes you commend, you commend some of them young players as well mm. for, like, being disciplined at least. Yeah, you need discipline. You, see, you need discipline. That's like, why you forget about football. When you're a, when you're a high-level person, like, by God's grace, this podcast blows and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's certain things that, like, even, like, you know, everybody that is going to be part of Chicha in the future have to be, like, if we start by God's grace, we, we start getting to those levels. I'm gonna be like, guys, you can't be doing certain things now because mm. you can't act certain ways. Just because you see this type of money doesn't mean now you should go out you buy a Lamborghini different. tomorrow. At the end of the day, yeah, fair enough. It's your own money. Do what you want. Mm. Go cop on to yourself. But I always say to people, if I have money, you don't know the difference between me to them tomorrow because I wear the same tracks tomorrow. I wear my same black slider. <laughs> Maybe I'll drive my car till it's broken. But trust me, everybody will be good. <clears throat> Help me. Yeah. But I feel like like you never struggle. You never, like, str- I'll never, you struggle, never struggle. But, struggle. Like, yeah, if you yeah. look at like certain like football you can always tell the difference between like the footballers that want to be wearing the glamorous lifestyle want to and the people wearing. that just don't you know, i always see them yeah I'm not against people dressing nice and all this yeah, but yeah, i feel yeah. like there's certain levels you need to be careful of when you get to that and, esp- and, and i think it's especially when you're young and when you yeah. get them when you see them cut that contract and you see them waved it you need to be care- you need to be you need to people. think because at the end of the day people need to remember football like football you're, like, you're not gonna be a footballer forever yeah, exactly. You know? So you need to watch how you spend because now it's because with, with football especially, you do two things unless you're finished. It's either managerial or you do a, you become a pundit. 
and that's and that's really much it. That's kind of what it is when mm. it comes to being a footballer. Like they don't have, unless you invest in a business or something, like they don't. That, they don't that, have that, it. They don't have it like that. That's Arsenal player. Hmm? For the main year, for I wonder, I was like worth a billion. There's an Arsenal, there's an Arsenal footballer who's worth like an extra. Arsenal but that, player. Oh, that, oh, that, oh yeah, I know you're yeah, talking about. Yeah. But like, uh, it's just something I actually want to like, you know, like. It's just like when I I see like this, and I'm just like, like I just pray to God, and you know, people people may not believe in God, whatever. But I always say like, when you're in levels like that in life, and you have like that type of money, you just need to act smart, not stupid. Mm. You know, that's the way I look at it, and that's that's I think if I believe that's why I said if Delhi had the right people around him, you yeah. know, this, like I know you say that people would be like, oh, cop on and all this, you know, you're better. I'm like, that's not what you need. You actually need someone who would come out to you and they'll see you packing at two o'clock in the morning and drag you out there and be like what the fuck yeah, are you doing like yeah. get the fuck home yeah you, in the morning, like, you, know. you know and that's why that's the why i like, commend i commend um saka mm. for it because saka, remember, saka is a saka is a cog is a child of god so that yeah, one's never going to be because remember when they've caught folding and um my man my man from getafe that's from alone remember they caught them in the hotel room yeah, 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 yeah. remember that remember that time they have never seen. You haven't seen anything about Saka because Saka is not a stupid boy. He's so not a stupid boy. Saka, to, to think about like people like Saka and all this, that they come from humble beginnings. Mm. You know, I'm not saying that phoning and all these people don't, but like mm. you can always see in the look of certain players, the players that you know when they get money, they're just gonna spend it lavishly versus yeah. the players that will get money, will want to sort. And I'm not saying they all don't sort their family out because they probably all do. Yeah, but like the players who get the money, who sort out all their bills and all this, but then want to go party. Mm. But the likes of Saka will probably like, yeah, I have the money. I can do what I want. I can, mm. I can fight for a stats around the world tomorrow. But let me, you know, invest this properly. Mm. Like even look at the great example is Adesanya. I only found out there. I seen a recent documentary of him and his dad. Um, dad invested all his money into all the projects he's been doing in uh, New Zealand, building houses, investing his money properly. So you know, it's like just the type of people versus when you get other people. Mm. I'm not, and you know, people like saying it's just black people. It's not just black people. There's other. There's a lot of other yeah. cultural backgrounds that exist. Because what money. you need to be thinking there is that what am I going to do after this? There's yeah. always an after that's, football. That's, that's, that's the thing with me. Even like by God's grace, every like I have my own things I do mm. on the side. By God's grace, all those things blow and they go well. Yeah, man, I have to think. Not everybody's going to be on this for the next 20, 30 years. Yeah. Like, you know, like eventually speaking, there's like the big groups there that do all this stuff and they're going to turn around one day and they're all going to kind of be like, what am I doing? You know, you yeah. know, what am I doing? Like, what are you investing? In? Like, I'm not saying, I'm just saying have something there because all these mm. things not going to last. There's some people that will. There's some people that actually, you know. That, that last forever. Yeah, last That's forever. the side men for me anyway. That's like, the side men don't know it, but unfortunately speaking, they don't, they, they, they think they can just, they're not going to be able to go because they're, they're not able to give up. They can't break up anymore. They can't. They can't. <laughs> they can't. They, they, they've established themselves. Mm. I don't, and I'm t in my opinion, there's going to be two or three more sidemans. Mm, yeah. There's going to be two or three more sidemans that mm. we don't know yet. We don't know who they could be. Yeah, they don't even know. Know who they could be. But yeah, there's exactly. going to be two or three more sidemans. Yeah. And I feel like, I'm not I'm not even saying the bait squad are themselves. Mm. You know, sidemen are themselves. A and P. But when I mean sidemen, there's going to be two or three more groups in this world that will come to be sidemen. Whether that happens in the next couple of years. Mm. And the next year, all I'm going to say to those groups is this: when you get there, after. just remember, spend your money correctly. Mm. Anyways, why are we talking about this? But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, what was what we want to talk about? And uh, what was it? Again? PSR, PSO, the finesses of the Premier League. So, you obviously seen was it Chelsea or Villa that sold Both. a player to? Was it Chelsea? Yeah. And they said the play they sold the player for like twenty five million, but market value of the play was eight hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. So basically, what what they're doing right is that they they're selling academy players, which is just a plus on the books or something, because mm. they didn't buy them, they didn't sell them, they didn't, they didn't have any wages or anything. What's the? I don't even know what the whole thing is. So what Chelsea have done now, because Chelsea have spent one billion British pounds, remember that now. So they have to be in line with PSR. Do you see what they finessed the system? You see what mm. they're doing. Well, they sold hotels and all that. Yeah, I know, I know. Just to get get back in there, which is see the only thing that you can commend this 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 foolish owners about is that they know how to find loopholes. So this, that's why that's why they always say the rich get richer mm. because they know all the they all they know all the loopholes that you can have. Mm. Every single loophole in the book they know. Exactly. So now Chelsea have sold E. Matson, twenty seven million, hmm? twenty seven point five million. The guy that was playing left back in the Champions League final, and he said for 37 million. See, see, that's the stupidity you have from there, right? Mm. 
and then you they sold um Amari Hutchinson today to Ipswich yeah, for twenty two million. For twenty two million, that's like what fifty. That's around fifty, nearly sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nearly sixty million, just like that. You just take that up. 57, 50 something. It's very 60 million, yeah. Yeah. So that's like, that's just pulling off the book. And then Aston Villa did it as well. Because they have, to, they sold Douglas Weeds, which I found crazy, by the way. They sold Douglas Weeds for about... So he sold for 60 million and took a player, a, player plus a, a cash player money. Player plus, plus cash money, which I don't understand. I know they have to rely on, they have to get this thing done, PSI, but still, Douglas Weeds. It's cr- I don't understand. I don't him. understand as well because I'm pretty sure someone wanted to buy him for like 50 or 60 million a while ago. Yes. And he said no. Was so Arsenal? why they're taking... Was Arsenal? Yeah, was Arsenal. Why they're taking two players that are... Okay, they're young, right? And I do like Emery, right? You... <laughs> you you have sold your, probably your second or third best player, right? And you're getting two niggas that haven't really played football. Who did they get again? The Samuel they, Eling fella. Uh, they, that Samuel Eling Jr. and then an Argentina bloke. I thought I'm, they said that Eling guy is good. Huh? I thought they said that guy is good, Eling or whatever his name that is. That junior or whatever. That, yeah. That, that, yeah, yeah. The that, black guy, right? Yeah. 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 He probably is good, right? Yeah. But you can't get rid of Douglas Dewey. Douglas, <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't get rid of Douglas Dewey's. You have to get two, yeah, yeah, two a 20 year olds. I right? get what you mean. I get you know what, what I mean? you mean. But now, like, it's it's been it's that whole thing to do with the transfer saga that's going on. It's, it's a bit stupid, isn't it? That's what I want to talk to you about. Let's push this away for a second. Fabrizio Roman, Romero, Romero. Romero, yeah. A lot of people are getting pissed off with him lately, mm. and I don't disagree with him. Him, he is he revolutionized transfer transfer and how they announce and how they announce, mm. which you know we can't take away from it. Yeah, but I think. What he doesn't understand is like it's the volume of the amount of information that he's giving people that's annoying. It's like you'll say one minute, Oh, this person is being announced, mm. you know, this is going on. Okay, yeah. we understand, but like there has to be a point that's like, Okay, you're just doing too much now. Like, yeah, exactly. That's we so get it, but I think he needs to understand himself. The value he's losing his value by giving too much. Yeah, Do you know, yeah. I feel like. Every he already has enough credibility that people believe him mm. on what he was saying because yeah. there was what was the transfer that he said there was one famous transfer that people said wasn't happening and he said was happening. Well, I think it was Cucurella to Chelsea. No, it wasn't. Yes, I think yeah. it was Cucurella, but there was somebody else as well. It's not coming to my head. Was it Ronaldo to United that time? Yeah, I think he the people people other people were coming out like decent reliable sources were coming out and saying it's not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Fabrizio was like, Wait. "See, that's the thing about Fabrizio. Fabrizio has like basically how am I gonna say back his chat enough." Mm. But I think people's problem now with Fabrizio is more like you're talking too much. Yeah, you get me. It's like, like people actually don't care. <laughs> Some of the information he does, yeah. we don't actually care as long as long as you say, "Here we go." The player has done. Or as long as you say rumored rumors are circulating mm. or my reliable sources said that mm. something that nobody knew was gonna happen. Yeah. It's like it's like for example, nobody when saw Spurs time the Sumer. Mm. We're like, what the fuck? Mm. Well he was coming out and saying Spurs are X, Y, and Z with Basuma are getting close. Yeah. People like, what the hell? Yeah, it's but like, like when he says closing in and all that, all I hear is that all I hear the one one I hear is the interest. Signed. That's all I want to hear. That's and, what I And then they say, and then when in that same tweet, the medical is the medical is scheduled. Yeah, or is other than that, to medical, just shut up just after just, that. Or even like you know, even like when something happens that like, oh, this team have now thrown in a bid mm. that they want to do that. I want. I don't mind hearing the fact. But what I'm yeah. hearing, oh, this person's going. They're still going on. They're still going on. There's still interest. There's still. It's literally Twitter. I don't want to be watching reading all that rubbish. I would like just say, just say. Interest, mm. um, maybe the um, contract they're talking negotiations mm. are still going on. Yeah, medical. Mm. That I don't need to hear everything in between that. Yeah, because you see, who you know who you know who does it really well, David Ornstein. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. He just comes out with one dagger. <laughs> yeah, Orange, I'm sorry for I'm sorry, like I'm not gonna say I muted him, but mm. I, I put him as irrelevant. In, yeah, because uh, when Ornstein comes with that dagger. Yeah. Orstein, Orstein, Orstein is one of my Orstein is my top guy now yeah 100%. because Orstein doesn't talk too much it's like mm. this guy hasn't talked yeah. he'll say there's interest mm. but for another couple of weeks it's like okay what's going on yeah. bam just like that shoot beg him but, but for me too da, 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 da. Remember, remember when Orstein did it for um, Caicedo it was because I was up I was like blood of Jesus blood of Jesus when this, when he sold he just showed that 
Daga, Liverpool have put 100 and something million bid yeah. and now, now they're waiting. Then, in the morning when I woke up, Daga again. Well, Caicedo has said no to Liverpool. He only wants to go to Chelsea. That, that's, that. Then, but, then that, that's all he did. And then, Daga again. Oh, Caicedo's going to Chelsea. Fabrizio will be doing Twitter fingers. Eh. It was like, bro, I res- no, no disrespect. I respect Fabrizio. Yeah, time. of course, of course. Because he was the guy that was that guy. But sometimes now I feel like he needs to understand like there's value in him actually not tweeting as much versus mm. him tweeting all the time. Yeah, exactly. I get it. Because, like, I get it. But even, like, a lot of people have been saying, it, like, you've been doing too much. And obviously, he's been going back and forth. You don't like it. Um, unfollow. unfollow. But it's not about unfollowing. I think people are just actually trying to say to you, like... There's kind give, of, like, advice, but in a yeah, decade way, you know? You're just giving us too much information. Yeah. See, this, it. even just right now with Dewsbury Hall to Chelsea, right? He has said so much rubbish, right? That's been the same thing, but in different ways. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the thing. And I don't want to hear it. It was just, just, just David Ornstein. I told you, just I just read mm. it there now. Jagem, just said the information I wanted to hear. And yeah, that's it. That's it. So literally, we don't need to hear all of that. Like, all of that needs, doesn't need to come out. I don't, yeah. care, I don't care that much about that. Even when the transfer is done, he will still say, oh, there were secret bids from another club. Like, I'm just like, I don't actually care. The transfer is over now. It's dead, dead it, man. You know what I mean? No, dead all of that. Oh, no, 100% right. And, um, yeah. Like, and... That's, that's the thing. But even like with the Ten Hag stuff as well, like he doesn't shut up about it. It's like, oh, the contract. He contract. made he made me think that Ten Hag was leaving. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. And then now it's like Ten Hag, contract, 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 contract. Like, it's like Fabrizio, Fabrizio, relax. Okay, we understand the contract negotiation. Yeah, exactly. Like, let us know when it's signed. Yeah, exactly. Say it once or twice. We don't need to hear it anymore. Oh my God. But speaking about that man himself. Ten Hag. Ten Hag. <sighs> How you saved your dub, I don't know. Nah, we had to save his dub. We won the FA Cup, bro. Like, if- yeah, but they said, I remember, the, I, I, who was it that said that the FA Cup does not matter about what he did? That's silly. Whoever it was said obviously that a lie. silly. It was obviously the FA a lie. Cup is the second biggest trophy in England. How are you going to mm. tell me that's not? Really so basically, easy? him winning the FA Cup, right? D- done him well. And he bet Man City. You. And he bet Man City. <laughs> but United interviewed Thomas Tuchel. Wait, what? They interviewed Thomas Tuchel. And he said he knew that they interviewed Thomas Tuchel. For me to tweet out exactly, you see, yeah, they interviewed Thomas Tuchel and they said they have the right. Then he said that they said to him was that they have the right man at the job already. United, <laughs> you had a chance, <laughs> your owners, right? You know what's gonna happen? Mm. We already know what's gonna happen. Mm. He's gonna be there, sign this whole new contract, mm. play rubbish, play rubbish, sack they're him. gonna sack him. They're gonna try to get Tuchel, Tuchel would have gone somewhere else, mm. and then that's two else, but. We, at the same time, let's look at the 10-act situation. He's had a lot of injuries. Nev hasn't really had a full team, you know. So, it, this is a chance to prove himself, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, he had a chance to prove himself. And the sign is that he's linked with. They might do something. Who's it? Bright White. Uh, Bright White. They're linked with Delay. Delay. You know, your guy from the Ur- Uruguayan guy. Yes, I've heard about that. With CDM. They're linked... They, and they're linked with Zerk, Zerky, mm. Zerk from um, B- B- Bologna or something. Bologna. Italy. Okay. The, the Netherlands striker, he's a big guy, right? He's young as well. They are linked with good players. It's just that are them good players good enough for the Premier League? Which I don't know. Are they good enough for United? Because exactly. And then, also wanted to talk about Chelsea. I said to you before <laughs> that I, if you get Enzo, I would not support Chelsea again. Still to now, I don't care about Chelsea. I'm a football fan now. I don't support the team. Because <laughs> I told you, I remember I said it on the podcast. You man thought I was messy. You thought I was just angry. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Why? Let me, t- brother. Are you okay? Well, you can't say that. Like, look at Poster Cogley. Poster Cogley was, was good enough. Yeah, but that was a Celtic, bro. Bro, you, that we, was in his first job. This is his second me and you, me and you, can, me and you can go to Celtic and we can still be, we can still win the league. But uh, but this is his second job. Who Enzo? Eh. Yeah, but his pep, his pep prodigy and pep, just because his pep prodigy does pep, not mean pep anything. prodigies have actually proved to be good. But look at it. But how, after how many years? What what you mean after how many years? How, after how many yeah, years? That's, so do you want are you are you now that type of football fan now that wants to be that your team? Will get a new manager. You want him to be doing straight away good first off. Hundred percent. 
Man, you're crazy. Yeah, because you know, because I waited for Especially too- with your own team, that's incredible. Yeah, it's a, because because I, you know I'm saying that, right? Because I waited too long. Well, at the end of the day, you have to remember, it's not like it, your team, my, Chelsea right now's problems isn't even to do manager. It's a whole change of structure. You before had an owner who was in the number ruthless. one ruthless dickhead. Exactly, of the right? Would come in and say, you do shit, you are gone. Exactly. You do shit, you are gone. You yeah. think I care? I'll give you your money, you fuck off. Yeah, exactly. But what I'm saying, right, was that Todd Bully did not think, because now, because I seen it the other day. Do you know how many brothers he have signed from South America? Bro, like, there's, it's not necessary. Yeah, yeah. That's, where the, that's where the whole billion is coming out of. It's not necessary to go and buy all these players. Because now he's doing too much. I, I, think, I think Chelsea need to start thinking about the academy. I yeah. They need it. We had one of the best academies in the, in the world, right? And you're buying players from Etasqueta everywhere, right? And I understand if he's buying 20... Two twenty-three years. Yeah, buying 18 he's, buying, year olds. he's buying kids. Like they have, they don't know what. What's the point ah. of your academy if you're not going to use them? Like, exactly. All you players that are in Chelsea's academy, start looking for new clubs. Exactly. Please leave, don't leave, man. There. Don't be there. Chelsea should just do a Brentford. You know what? They they don't have academy. They just have. Yeah, just let the academy because honestly, because honestly, see what I said it to you before. I think Todd Bowley thinks that America is is a con is a is the world. I think he thought that America was the world and everything else be, beside it is just. <laughs> It's just him, um, like, let's say this is, he thinks it's Earth. He thinks that everywhere else is Mars and Jupiter and Venus and all, all, all of these other, he thinks because he, t- I don't think he understood what he was doing when he came to church. I think it was an investment idea. Somebody said, oh, there's a club being sold for in England, in London as well. He probably, he said, oh, London, capital of England or something. <laughs> and, and then he said, oh, that's interesting to me. Let me, let me go and buy it. He bought it. No, wahala. No, wahala, right? Then he decides to buy I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how many players this guy bought now. It's actually ridiculous. I can't keep up anymore. <laughs> Can we, let's, let's try to name. He bought Fofana. Fofana. Kukure- two Fofanas. Two Fofanas. The Kukurela. Kulubali. Kulubali. Um, um, the keeper. Oh, Pe- oh um, Hugo Sanchez. Sanchez. Um, they bought um, the f- Mudrick. Mudrick, Gusto, Mo- the, Enzo. The striker, Jackson. Jackson. Enzo, uh, Caicedo. He bought... Madueke as well. Madueke. The Sassi and Badashili. <laughs> Are we on the level? <laughs> That's um, a starting team. <laughs> <laughs> Pet- Petrovic. Petru- Petrovic. Mm. Um, Uko Chuku. Exactly. You don't know... Chuku Meka. Yeah, Chuku Meka. Lavia. He, um, who else is there? He Blood. Bought, remember, remember he bought a few young brothers as well. Blood, I don't even know. He has born Estevano from Brazil. He has born this. He has born one Ecuadorian guy. He's trying to buy one Argentina centre back right as we speak. He's trying to buy. <laughs> he's trying to buy Douglas. Todd boy, kilo share. I'm, I'm just like blood. When will you stop? <laughs> then you yeah. know the team that the, there's only I t- how many there? There's only two players left from the team that yeah. he came in with. Right? Mm-hmm. He came in. There was a squad there. We were doing good. There's only two man left. I swear. You know how crazy that is? Two swear. man. He came three seasons ago, man. I swear. <laughs> like, how is that possible? Guy is crazy. Oh, but, my um, God. Nah, man. You now, want to talk about Cup America as well? Copa America, I've not been watching a lot of, but... I stayed, I, stayed, hearing, I, stayed, I stayed up I've one, not been hearing a lot of good things about Brazil. Yeah, I stayed up one night to watch Brazil. I promise you... Uh, that's some of the worst football I've seen from a load of great players as well. I'm, you're telling me the names that I'm seeing, right? Rafinha, Paqueta, Rodrigo, Vinicius, even Bruno Gamariz. They had... Eh? Eh? What did you say there? Bruno, Bruno Gamariz. What's his name? <laughs> Bruno Gamariz. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I and it's me, you people. We complain about my English. Hello. And then, and then Jal, Jal Gomez, who had a good season with Wolves as well, yeah. right? They have Douglas Reeves. Douglas Reeves probably play it for the rest of the week. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. They had Allison and goals. The only reason... Why, and then they drew nil-nil to fucking Costa Rica. Costa Rica. I'm just like... Then I saw... I saw... <laughs> I saw so many things they were doing. Then they panned the camera to Neymar and he was just like... <sighs> like all like this. He's still injured. He's injured, yeah. This is that ACL. Yeah. So I'm... They... they without Neymar, they can't do anything. Damn. <laughs> With the way with the way Vinicius, they're calling for this brother. I'm sorry to say as well, because I like Vinicius as well. And my boy Sebastian so Ramirez. So if you listen to this, I'm sorry to say this. So you are calling for Vinny to win Ballador. 
And he can't, he's not performing in Copa America. Really? Really? Which is a win. Vinny. I think they're going to give it to him, which I don't understand why. Don't get me wrong. He's a good player. I'll be honest. Mm. I don't think anyone deserves it this season. No. <laughs> I don't think anybody, there's no, there's not been a standout. People could say, oh, if you talk about manager this season, it's going to be Shabby alone, but I don't care what anybody says. By their country that's, that's shabby, But when you're talking about individual player, player of the season, I don't know anybody who's done anything crazy. There's, there's if no Kane one. had won the Bundesliga, I would have said Kane. And he could have, if he got in the, if he bet Real Madrid that time as well, yeah, and if, he won the Champions League. If he won Champions I would have said Kane. It would have been definitely but Kane. People, I just don't know. There's don't, no one that has It's going to be a Real Madrid player anyway. Yeah, there's no one that's been outstanding in the club Mm. Now that the countries are playing now, at standing in country as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. People, that was all the comments. If you think someone should have won Ballon d'Or, but but I don't know. Like since since there's no Ronaldo and Messi again, like the Ballon d'Or dead it, man. Honestly, they've had these two same players to win it, except for that time when they won, when Modric won. What happened? It happened. You forgot to say it. Mbappo, Mbappo, Mbappo. Oh yeah. To Real Madrid. What they say that's the most expensive free transfer in the history of mm. um football. Did the Madrid even say bye to that guy on their in- um, PSG even say bye to that guy on their Instagram? I doubt it. You remember was, he remember he because he was coming out with interview an interview he said they wanted to stop playing me or something. Hey, but like I don't get something right. He wanted to leave and the people that forced him to say. Mm. Like, you got the fucking president of France to talk, talk to the brother. Like, the guy wanted to leave. He wanted him to stay. Like, and now you're complaining that he's leaving when he's leaving already made it clear that he wants to go to Real Madrid. The, Real Madrid offered two hundred block clap million for that and guy, said right? No. And they said no. So now you let go on a free. Mm. It, it, to be honest, the owners, they're, they're Saudi owners, man. They have money. They don't. They have care. money. They don't they, care about they, the money. They, 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 they care about the player. They, they care about the pay more than the money. Like mm. they, they could, they could throw a billion at that guy. They, I know yeah. that. I know that because we're in, we're about to go into July, right? Mm. The transfer window is open. I think. The window has been open. It's the only reason why players haven't been announced is because of the of Euros. Euros. So the, now, after the Euros, who are PSG gonna buy? I still think they're gonna go for Marcus Rashford, and I think they are as well. But just so like, I'm just like, okay, that's one player. PSG are the best team in France, obviously. Come on, right? They're not winning any Champions Leagues anytime soon. They're not winning. They're not winning Dore me. I'm be sorry. You can look. <laughs> you can look at me all you want. You can. I don't watch them enough. Mm-hmm. Right? You're not winning anything. Let's be realistic. Yeah, true. You know they're not winning anything. So, who are they gonna buy? Because now Mbappe is off the books, right? Mm. All that money is cleared. They're now going off. I still think. I still think they're gonna go for the likes of Austin Man Mbappe. Um, Rashford, Rashford, Rashford Rafael Leal as well Rafael Leal those type of players because mm. but you can't <laughs> Leal maybe is actually a good show because he's the only thing that I think winger at the moment that I see that would fit that Mbappe type of style mm. I say he has a massive release clause as well so I'm like a, I think he's 150 he just, he just signed a new contract as well not too I think it could be 150 but um, no like no I'm like you know not much is really, not crazy really gone on. Like, like you said, who's going to win the Euros? Um, Germany. Germany, and I think it's going to be Portugal. See, well, I don't know. I just find that so crazy. I'll be sorry. It was, well, it's a question of like, we'll wait and see. Mm. But um, guys, look, again, we're sorry that we took so long to release it. We're in holiday mood. Sorry, eh? We're in holiday mood, man. I'll be sorry. <laughs> oh, no, we were in Portugal. We were enjoying life. Well, Our life was so easy. Ah, guys, go on holiday. Bro. Rest. Enjoy. <laughs> Guys, look, we will start doing other stuff. There's lots of stuff in the plans. Mm. Um, we will drop um one of our football videos hopefully in the next month or so. Hopefully, we can start streaming soon. I just have to figure it. I have to figure this out. I know how to stream. It's just about how do we get all of us to be online at the same time. Mm. Um, but um, yeah guys look there's a lot more content coming we enjoy doing the podcast obviously the we have to do a special episode on that um, the Olympics mm. question is we'll just have to have a look about that yeah and um, well yeah guys look we hope you enjoy everything so far like we say second best podcast in the world hate, hate us love us comments you know we just look and laugh please don't you know I, I, I just want to make something clear Guys, whether it's on 
this podcast BS or whether it's on Don't Say Party Tom or with someone that says with Jerry. Stop commenting hate, man. We actually just that just feels like it goes and entertains us. So mm. please just slap away. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> because we just we just actually look at it and laugh. It does we, we look at it in the group <laughs> chat. We, we just, just start laughing, laughing about it, you know. Uh, but yeah, guys, look, I hope you all enjoy your week. Um, let us know who you think is going to win the Euros in the comments. And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have a good day. God bless. Enjoy life. Finesse the system. That system will finesse you. Do you have any words to say of encouragement for that? No. Bad times. <laughs> yeah, well, life. Take care. Uh, good luck. <laughs>